The views and opinions expressed on any programme are those of the producers and or the persons appearing on the programme and do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of FRC Media, Bristol Community College or the City of Fall River. As we head to the September 19th preliminary election, we're speaking to as many candidates as possible so you can make an informed decision when you go to the ballot box. On the election in September, there are races for mayor and city council. And one of those city council candidates are joining me right now. He is Ricky Tith. Uh, Ricky's making his fourth attempt to become a member of the city council. Ricky, thank you for joining me. I appreciate well, it. Well, thank you for having me here, Keith. So let me ask you, this is the, the fourth time you're running. Um, some people may say, why are you continuing to run? So let me just ask you, why, why yes. are you running? And I guess, what did you learn from the first three times you, you've run that you hope will help you, put you over the, the top this time? Yeah, this was, uh, that's, that's, that question is a lot of, a lot of uh, asked for me. They say, oh, Ricky, why are you running? And, you know, I, but it's simple. I'm running because I care about the city, you know, and I, I want to be part of the change. And right now, I see that um, at City Hall is um, is not much uh, trust in our elected uh, official government. So that's why I'm hoping that I could be part of it and build and build out the gap, the the, the bridge that has been gapped out, you know, between uh, the people in, in City Hall. Do you feel at all uh, being a member of the Cambodian community? You've been here, I believe, since 1999. Yes. You've been here since 1999, yes. and that constituency here in Fall River has grown. Yes. Do you feel that there's not a voice of that community in in the city? Um, yes, I feel that there is no voice uh, in the Cambodian community, and not as much, not just only the Cambodian community, but also as other minority as well too, like uh, the Puerto Rican, Dominican, and you know different ethnicity. I think because maybe because uh, of the language barrier, that they 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 not they not uh, feel safe when they go out like to city hall, and as it, there's not much information in in the, in the language language word. So it's language barriers. Yes, language, language barrier. Yeah, yes, well. yes. So, so I'm hoping that I, I could uh, represent them, you know, and and also encourage all of all the folks that live in 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 Fort River, to uh, to get engaged more in the community and also engage with um, with the city government. Is there one issue that you really want to focus on if you're elected as a city council? Is there one that you know, um, you just mentioned maybe this is the one you talked about, right? Yeah. The, those that are that, that are underserved in Fall River. But is, are there any other like big issues you want to focus on? One of the big issues that I want to do is uh, economic development, because I know we have a big uh, airport road and big industrial park, and, and there's a lot of uh, companies there right now. But I see that we need to be have more technology, technology as in like, you know, a print circuit board like service mount, like um, quarry inspector, because if you if you look at all the job in, in Fort River, they don't have much uh, PC board inspection and stuff, you know, with technology, only like edge tech and stuff, but we need to get some more. And in order to do that, we need to create a training for, for the folks around in, in the city of Fort, Fort River to, to, to learn how to read a blueprint, learn how to write, uh, get a look at the PC board. So that way, if you approach this uh, big technology like EMC or Benchmark, they say, hey, can you want to bring your company over here? And then they're going to ask you, do we have enough people to get their job done? You know, mm -hmm. Because mostly, everybody needs to be certified or doing that, those kind of technology stuff. Yeah. You're a small business owner yes. as well in Fall River. You uh, own a restaurant in yeah. the city yeah. uh, only for the past couple of years. Two years. Um, how do you feel that, uh, how can, I guess, as a city council, you and, and government can help su support small business in Fall River? You're talking about, you know, with, with, right. the, with technology, that's sort of a larger right. type company. Right. How about very small business? The small business I see, because uh, as, a, as a business owner, when I first opened it, it was kind of, there's no uh, business package. So if I be uh, uh, lucky enough to be elected city council, I want to work with uh, the administrator to create a business welcoming package, you know, just like from a template. You started from 
where you're going to get uh, registered your 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 business name and who you're going to go see from from each department and stuff not like just go like one thing to point to, to another one you know, that's how it is and and then what 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 do we have to offer for 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 first time of having a business over there are we gonna give them a break like maybe six months or a or, or year to say okay we can give you six months to start out, and this is how you're going to plan out. If you're working, getting success in that six months, okay, we're going to give you this, put some taxes or anything for you like that. Mm. I want to ask you a couple of, uh, of, of issues that have been of general importance, maybe since the last time you've run. Uh, one is uh, the cost of living. Um, housing, rents have gone up sky high. Um, I know that's a problem across the country, not just in Fall right. River, but how can a city council or even a city how do you feel that they can help people in being able to afford to live in Fall River, either from rent and, and other right. utility bills and the like? Right, again, that's, that, that goes all the way to economic development, you know. I mean, we have to have create job, a better, a better paying job. And then if we don't have a paying job, then for folks that have low incomes, making like $17 in, in the area, how they're gonna afford to pay a rent a thousand two hundred dollar, you mm -hmm. know? And also, a lot of folks they're probably asking like, oh, a rent control, we, you know? It, it's how can we do a rent control? We got to check and balance. Like the, the the folks that own the property, like in in the nineties, they already pay off and stuff. And then the new buyer come, they pay the mortgage. They have because the mortgage is too high. So that's you, you can't you can't do anything about that. But in order to do that, you have to be uh, high price. Right now, I can see it, this high price market price for a, for a house, okay? But there's no, uh, for the low income uh, parking price. So they don't have no chance, you know? So every time they say, okay, $1,200, how are we gonna get that, mm. you know? So now they say, okay, so we might have to move or we have to uh, do something uh, to, to uh, to get a, a, a money payment. Yeah, let me ask you about public safety. That's also been an issue here yeah. in Fall River. Um, the police department has been understaffed for quite some time now. Yes. Um, I remember speaking to the chief, and he said, you know, years ago it used to be that um, the police department had the bodies, meaning recruits, right. but there was no money to hire the police officers. Now it's the opposite. They've got yeah. money to hire more police officers. There's people that, that don't want to be police officers anymore. A lot of it can go back to the George Floyd situation right. and how police right. have been yes. perceived. Um, how do you view how Fall River can do better to retain and recruit police officers? I mean, it, it's, it's, it's tough, you know, with, with these things going on now. Like, uh, you know, it's tough to for first of the other pay rate, you know, for the officer. Are they going to come say, okay, we want to work at the police department, but are they pay enough for them, you know? And I know we short manpower, and how are we gonna do that? So maybe if we cannot, for it now, we cannot find any officer to recruit them. So maybe we could try to find a short-term solution by maybe approaches to the resident or to any uh, neighborhood or, or, um, or the neighborhood association, you know, say, hey, how can we get this neighborhood more you know, um, positive way of people and safety and stuff, you know, what we need to do. Yeah. Um, you know, going to, uh, to education, even though, you know, the school department, the school committee oversees yeah. education, um, how do you feel that a, a city council can help support the school department in making sure that our students succeed? Well, uh, that's the, one of the worst thing is education because and our school system, you know, I, I, w I would like to sit down with, with, the, with the school committee and stuff and, and learn from them and then what can I help to them to advocate what do they need, what's the tool, and uh, do we need to uh, reach out to parents, you know. That's how, uh, I think that's the first step here. Yeah. Because you see there's a lot of things going on right now, like 14 year old got shot in the face and where does that trigger from? Where, what's the root cause, you know? Yeah. Uh, are we reaching to the parents? Uh, are the kids as troublesome or uh, the kids need help? You know, we need to go out there and, and, and reach, find service for them. Yeah. Let me ask you finally, um, one of the role of, of the mem a member of the city council is to be a check and balance on the administration. 
city council approves the budget yeah. every year. Um, more money comes in every year for the city. Um, how do you balance, you know, making sure the city has enough money it needs to pay for people? You mentioned police officers; yeah. they may not be paid mm -hmm. enough, right? Mm -hmm. On, on the back end, yeah. that may mean taxpayers taxpayer. may need to pay more. How yeah. do you balance that? Balance, not, not dependency, because taxes, I think right now in, in Fort River, I think we are lower than our surrounding, you know, but um, we have to look what area that need, that, that, that is useful, and what area that is not useful, uh, we have to cut that down, some of that, yeah. you know, but make sure we, but, but the most thing is we need to make sure that the public safety have all the equipment, okay? And also to a taxpayer like myself, maybe have a break once in a while, mm. you know? Yeah. All right, well, Ricky Tith, candidate for city council, I appreciate your time, and hopefully we'll have the opportunity to talk again before November. I appreciate well, it. Thank you. All right. All right. And thank you for joining us here on FRC Media. I'm Keith Tebow. Please make a point to vote on Tuesday, September 19th.